Good morning. Last night it has fallen about seven centimeters of powder snow, like this. And if it rains this much powder snow, you can do some aerodynamic testing with the car to check if there is any design flaws in the car. Clean up the windshield a little bit and start driving. I have already done this test to my Lupo, but I will first go to drive with this car and see what happens when you go driving. There was a snow bank which I almost got stuck. Uh, the speed which you need to drive is about 80 to 110 kilometers per hour. So you need to go to some bigger road. And as you can see, the speed is now about 40 and the snow already starts to shape off from the car. When the speed goes to about 60 or 70, lots of snow will start to fly off. Now we are on the main road. Rapid acceleration. And the snow starts to fly off quite fast. Now the speed is about 80. And if we drive this speed uh, for some time, all the, the whole windscreen will come off from the snow. So that means that air is attached there to the car and there is a good flow. And now we have driven for some time the 80 km per hour speed and the snow which fly, fly, fly away is from places where it's uh, high pressure zones in the car, like in the windshield and the front bumper. We need to go a little bit faster, about 110, to get off the snow from the hood and over the top of the car, which we like to see what happens there. So, here's a little bit of corner, so I cannot drive so fast. Try to get more speed. And again, snow starts to fly off. It's difficult to see, but it's coming all the time over on top of the windscreen. And now the heater is on, so it froze to the lower corner as well. But we didn't go even 100 in that pace. So now comes a big straight and we can raise the speed.
much put more fan windscreen now there is again speed is about 110 and there is more snow coming all the time and the hood is coming clean from the snow also the side windows are already lost the snow then we turn back and repeat the test the other direction doesn't have so good winter tires so it takes a little bit of time to accelerate to faster speeds also there is not so much power as in my Lupo because this car has a 1.9 SDE Volkswagen diesel engine and it's quite slow but it's pretty fuel efficient engine We have already driven this speed so the snow which is on top of the hood will stay there unless we don't drive any faster. So most of the snow has flown away but some which is still there and also we can see some uh, water raindrops which have melted how they travel onto the hood. They try to go, go along the streamlines of this car. Depending on the speed, they some sometimes go lower and drop a little bit down on the windshield. As now we are driving slower, so they start to go to the sides more than along the streamlines as the speeds are higher. Now we are going about 60 km per hour, so they are moving to the wrong direction. So we need to try to get some more speed again to see how they go in higher speeds. Again, a little bit of sideways here because we are going a little bit too fast over the speed limit. But I would like to get more. Now the speed is about 90 and the, again the raindrops start to go along the streamlines of this hood and windshield. The lower drops over there are in the standstill mode at the moment because the high speed there is lower. So we need to go a little bit faster to get the move. Now we are going 100 and they start to move. This windshield doesn't have any treatments on top of it, so it, there would have been some rain repeller stuff. It would have moved the raindrops much faster. Again to the smaller roads. Some might remember this road. This is the one which I used to drive quite fast sometimes. And there will be a new video coming of that later this year. And the conditions are pretty much the same as in the last one, but now I have more power on my Lupo, so it will be quite faster. Also, the snow banks start to be so big that I can lean a little bit of them when driving. So there is the Lupo, which did the same treatment.